So delighted his daughter is here. She's in the back right there. And I got to I got to meet her and talk about our kids and grandkids and all the like. At any rate, I just want to thank the uh, the president for being here and uh, and for your dedication to strengthening the relationship between the United States and Israel. Thank you. And uh, as the American press here can tell you, my commitment to Israel is well, they can't tell you anything actually. They're not supposed to. But it's ironclad. It's real. It's uh, something that uh, I often say, if there weren't an Israel, we'd have to invent one. And uh, so uh, this includes, uh, um, we're, you know, we're committed to unwavering commitment to your self-defense. And uh, today we're going to be discussing a broad range of challenges, including Iran. What I can say to you, Iran will never get a nuclear weapon on my watch, as they say. And. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, uh, I, I directed last night's airstrikes targeting uh, um, sites used by the Iranian-backed militia groups responsible for recent attacks on U.S. personnel in Iraq. And uh, I have that authority under Article 2, and even the, those up in the Hill who are reluctant to uh, acknowledge that have acknowledged that's the case. I also want to be clear that, as I said, my team and I are already working closely with the Israeli government to, uh, that took office earlier this month. Um, I'm looking forward to hosting uh, Prime Minister Bennett uh, at the White House very soon. And the U.S. fully supports normalization of the relationship between Israel and Middle Eastern countries that uh, you're making some headway on, and, and Africa as well, and beyond the important progress. Uh, we are really looking forward to building back a wider a block of peace and stability. And going forward, Mr. President, the United States uh, and Israel are going to continue to work together to advance peace in the region and stability. And uh, I have only one regret. You're leaving as president, but uh, not, not, not immediately, not soon. Seven years for Israelis enough. For the Americans, eight years could be a little bit longer, but for the Israeli <laughs> seven years, it's enough. Well, welcome. It's good to have to be president, I must say to you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you've, uh, you, you've done incredibly well. You've been a great friend. Absolutely. You've been a great friend. I, I, I did my best, of course. Well, you did your best, and it was as good as it could be. Thank you. you All right, right, buddy. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Of course, I would like to say and to mention that I'm delighted Really delighted to be here once again in the White House, meeting you, the President of the United States. Of course, I have to repeat what we know very well. Israel has no greater friend, ally, than the United States of America. You are our best friends, and we are sharing. We are best friends, and the uh, balance between the people of Israel and the people of America is based on the understanding that we are sharing values, value, values of democracy and values of liberalism. And because of that, of course, we, according to a real friendship, can from time to time discuss matters and even uh, uh, agree not to agree about everything. But we count on you and your um, uh, really, declaration just now uh, really brought uh, the Israelis to understand that we have a great friend at the White House. We do. Uh, Mr. President, God bless you, God bless the people of America, and God bless the relationship between our two nations and to our two states. Well, I agree with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all very much.